How's it going? I'm Sean with Panasonic Lumix and today I'm going to give you a quick little video on how to connect your Lumix camera to a home network for the purpose of sending photos while you're shooting to either a desktop computer or a network attached storage. Now this is a fairly complicated process to go through so I'm going to actually link into the back of my camera and walk you through the settings that you need to look for on your camera as well as cover some of the basics of what you need to do to prepare your desktop for receiving those files as you send them. This is going to be a quick little video and there are many more variables involved in doing this say if you're a Mac user versus a Windows user but for this quick demonstration I'm going to show you on a Windows PC because it is the most straightforward way to do this. Okay so now we're here in the back of my Lumix S1R that I'm using for this demonstration. And the first thing that you're going to do, and this will be the same for any Lumix camera that has Wi-Fi functionality built in, is you're going to click on the menu button, which will bring up the main menu. You're going to scroll to the settings uh, icon, which will be the wrench icon, no matter which system you're on. And you're going to scroll down and you're going to look for the Wi-Fi setting. So that'll just be simply called Wi-Fi on the camera. And what we're going to do is click right into this menu. We're going to click Wi-Fi function. So now that we're in the Wi-Fi menu, you'll see that you have a couple options here. You have new connection or select destination from history. For this case, because this will be the first setup, you're going to click on new connection. Now for this purpose, we're going to be sending these files while we're shooting. So this would be useful in a studio environment, say where you've got a local desktop that you want to have images sent to automatically as well as still have them record locally on the camera to the memory cards as well. So we're going to come down and select send images while recording. Now here traditionally you would select smartphone if you want to connect to your mobile device but in this case we're going to select PC. Now you have a couple of options. You can either try to connect direct to network or via a network. For this purpose, we're going to connect via network. So we're gonna press menu set. And right now what the camera's gonna do is search for a wireless network. Now you'll see that I already have this network saved on my uh, camera. So it's already connecting to my home wireless network, which would be the same if you've got the camera connected to say a business network in your home studio. Just look for that device, connect in there, you're going to have to enter your uh, password for the wireless network and it'll be straightforward from there. The next screen that you're going to get uh, presented with is this uh, select a device to connect to. Now depending on how your wireless network is set up, you may see this become auto-populated with different devices. In this case, because this is a home network, it does not show me the different connectable devices on my network. So what I have to do is manually enter this in. And I'll cover how to find what the name of the device is a little bit later. But for this purpose, I'm going to click Manual Input. And here I'm gonna come in and enter the name of my desktop PC. Okay, so now the name of the device that I wanna to connect to is entered. Now what I'll do is press set. Now it's gonna ask you for login information. So this is gonna be the maiden login information that you have to use on, in this case, my Windows desktop PC. Now there is a catch to this. Modern Windows 10 users are typically signed in with a network account because it is tied in with Microsoft's website. In order for this to work, you have to create a local user on your desktop. That means that it's not connected to a Google network, uh, a Microsoft network, or any other account that would be an email address for logging in. If you follow along on Microsoft's website, they do have a walkthrough on how to do this as well. Okay, now that the username and password are entered, you're going to click Next. Now what you'll see here is the folders that are found on that network with that login that are tagged as shareable folders. And again, we'll cover how to set that up on the computer in the next part. 
So for this case, I'm going to come down and select Lumix Network Storage, which is a folder I have set up on an internal extra photo drive that I use specifically for the purpose of storing all of my images away from my editing software, from my video games, whatever it is that you have on your current device. So once you press uh, menu set, you're going to be presented with this new menu screen here. This is where you can tell the camera what files do you want to actually send while you're recording. Now, this is useful for the purpose of, say, keeping your raw files on your camera and using just the JPEGs as files that are going to be sent over for someone who, say, is monitoring while you're doing a photo shoot. This will also have the added benefit of speeding up the transfer process since JPEGs are typically smaller than your average raw file across the board. So you change these settings by pressing display on the camera. And here, when it comes to size, you have the option to send the original size, which is the full resolution that you want to uh, send over. Or you can come in and select change, which allows you to send over medium, small, or VGA. Now these are useful if you want to send over just thumbnails, you can select VGA or small medium if you just want to be able to cut some of that resolution down if you don't need full resolution over on the computer. But in this case, I'm going to send over originals. The next setting here you have is file format. So when you click on file format, this is where you get the option to select either JPEGs, RAW plus JPEGs, or just your RAW files. For this demonstration, I'm just going to send over JPEGs. So we'll select JPEG. Now, since both of those options are now set, you're going to press the back arrow, bring you back into this menu where you're going to reconfirm the information that you've added in, and just press menu set. From there, the camera will go back to the shooting menu, being ready to go, and you're all set to send files over to your computer. Okay, so now we're going to create a folder that can be found on a wireless network that your camera will be able to see so that you can send those photos to it. So what you'll do is navigate to the drive that you want to have that folder housed on and create a new folder. So we'll click create a new folder and you want to name this something that's going to be easily recognizable on the back of the camera in case you have other folders that are already network shareable. So in this case we're going to call it Lumix Image Storage. Now once you have that, you need to right click on that file, go to properties, click on sharing. Now you want to click on advanced sharing. You're going to click on share this folder and then click apply. Click OK to go back to the previous settings menu. Now the last thing you're going to do in here before you leave is click on the share icon uh, here in the network file and, share and folder sharing portion of this menu. So click share and you'll see that you have already by default the owner is the initial account that you create this on. But we want to add that local network to this so that you will still always have access into it since this uh, user isn't available to be used for network connecting. So here we're going to click on photo storage and then you're going to click add. Now what you'll notice is that by default this account is only uh, able to actually read this device instead of actually being able to read and write to it. So you need to change the permissions before you leave. So click on the arrow and change this to read write. Once you've got that set, click share and then click Done. Now that you've gone through those two steps, this folder is now recognizable on the wireless network with those login credentials that we provided before so that you can send files to this wirelessly while you're shooting. All right, so now this camera is set up, I have connected to this Lumix image storage folder. And what I'm gonna do now is just take a single picture and what we'll see is the camera now has an indicator on the back that says R1, which means it's sending that picture through the network. You'll see it's already gone. 
and a new folder is created here in that shareable folder that I had. Now what's cool about it is you'll notice that it's, it's done by date. So this is 2020, 519. Once I go into this folder, here's that picture that I just took. It's 13.3 megabytes and it's all done, ready to go. So as you can see, it's a fairly complicated process to get it set up the first time. But once you've gone through that process, it's saved in the history so you don't have to go through entering those passwords anymore or searching for which device you want to connect to. Just click on connect from history the next time you want to do this and you're automatically prompted with the screen that's asking you which files do you want to send while you're shooting. So I hope this was a good video for you and I hope that it provides some usefulness in your shooting experiences in the future. Keep an eye out for more videos like this and we'll see you next time.